What's going on guys? <coughs> Jesus. I have not filmed in a while. What's going on guys and welcome back to LOA TV. Now today we're going to be doing another kind of reaction throwback video. Uh, the last one we did was looking at our most popular video of all time. Now today we're going to be reacting to Jack, a fella off the channel. He hasn't been on it in a little while. We're going to be rea reacting to the time when he went to Daily Mount Park in a Shamrock Rovers jersey. Literally a death wish. Um, he did lose a bet, we will come back to that towards the end. But yeah, um, we're going to look at how he got on at the at the stadium. Um, it was a game between Bohemians and Waterford, I believe. Um, so yeah, let's just have a look at how he got on. So, I'm going to go for a 4 0 Rovers win! Yeah. It's so weird looking back at this. This is a great idea for a video. We definitely need to do more stuff like this. How I'm feeling about it, to be honest, I mean, I couldn't be shitting myself more. Uh, just uh, as this is kind of like, you know, potential, you know, the last thing I, I say on camera. So, uh, you know, it was fun, fun while it lasted. You know, I'm not a Rovers fan, so just do spare me. But Bose, go easy, go easy. Okay, but still at the end of the day, come on there! Chap has a banana on his head, like. <laughs> uh, Jack here from LOI TV, I'm here. Here we go, here we go. <laughs> here with me all half time. Uh, How are you getting on? Yeah, not too bad. At the moment, uh, unfortunately, Bo's trailing to uh, Waterford 2-1. In a pretty good game, I have to say, so far. What have you made of it? Um, the fence is not, not great, is it? The fence, oh. the fence isn't great. Um, a bit of... There's all the boys. Zipping down his jacket. I remember I remember during this, I was actually so far away from him. I didn't know what was going to happen. I thought he's either going to get kicked out, beaten up, or... Yeah, I didn't really know what to expect. It was one of, one of those two anyway. So, like, I remember I was just literally about 10 metres away, literally social distancing already. Like, uh, no, I was so scared for his life. Like, I didn't know what was going to happen. I was expecting him to get kicked out at the very least. The fence is not, not great, is it? The fence, oh. the fence isn't great. Um, a bit of... There's all the boys there. Let's take a quick look at that zipping down the jacket again, that little nice brief movement. The fence is not, not great, is it? The fence, oh. the fence isn't great. Um, a bit of... Yeah, just, it's just... It's building. It's just building it. <laughs> it's just building. Yeah, at, at this point, I remember people were like kind of copping onto. It. I think someone had seen the video that we'd done the bet about in, and people had kind of known uh, what was going to happen. So there was a bit of a crowd gathered. Like, so I was actually like absolutely breaking myself. I didn't know what was going to happen. Uh, but there was a crowd gathered, and there's people shouting at him. He's kind of like looking over at them now, and oh, oh I can't even watch it. I can't even bear to watch this. Like. <laughs> It's just building. Do you mind holding that just for a sec? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. Um, so, yeah, no. <laughs> So, um, yeah, no, I was just wondering, um, we're Rovers, uh, Rovers fans, like, what do you make of them? Do you think that you need to keep fighting, or do you think that you need to, you know, make peace or whatever? Uh, make peace, like, the, oh my god. <laughs> Asking him if he wants to fight him, like, it's just so fucked, so stupid, like. But to be fair, though, like, if that, if that was me in that situation, there's not a hope in taking that jacket off, like, so, he has balls, to be fair to him, like, I would not be doing that, like. Oh my god. I wanna fight them, yeah. I wanna fight you them. You wanna fight them? I wanna fight them, yeah. I wanna fight them, yeah. I wanna fight them. Like, he's just wearing a Rovers jersey, like, oh my god. I can't believe he did this. Update from Daily Mount. I've made it out alive, but there's still post match interviews. I could die. Enjoy. <laughs> We could have done more that I feel like inside the ground but uh, we were just shitting ourselves like realistically um, it was just such a scary situation to be in like um, just the wrong fan seeing you and you just don't know what could have happened so yeah we kind of got away with it a little bit I remember on the way out there was some fans saying a few bits to us saying it was disrespectful and stuff like that and they're unsubscribing and everything but just like get in the bin like just get in the bin lad yes time here at Daily Mount Park. It is Bohemians 1, Wad for 3. Um, look, the Bows young fellas, a lot of them um, played pretty shy tonight, to be honest. Um, <laughs> As if he hasn't, like, made enough enemies for one night, like... <laughs> As for, you know, wearing the, you know, jersey and stuff yeah, well, tonight. What do you think of the fans? What do you think of the fans? Fans reaction, as soon as they knew <laughs> that it was, uh, you know, it was a bet and all, it was fine. But, I mean, there's a couple of people walking by now who were saying, um, I mean, expletive material, you know. I wouldn't say it on the camera. <laughs> we, yeah, we said um, we, two, 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 two people, people said that they were going to unsubscribe. <laughs> um, a guy actually 
punched me in the. Um, you're right. You're right. You're actually. You're right, man. Jack, you're right. Oi, no, please. Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Jack, Jack, come back there. This is so stupid, but I love it. Like, cheers, mate. That's Courtney Duffus. Is it? That's a friend too. Courtney Duffus, yeah, oh my god, he walked by us that time. I don't think he played on the night. I remember he, he got off to a, such a good start at Waterford and then he just completely died off and I don't know, know where he is now to be honest, but um but yeah, I think it's time we speak to the man himself and see what he has to say about that infamous night all those years ago. Jack, how the hell are you? Yeah, good man, good. Yeah, a bit greasy as you can see, but yeah. happy hours, you know. Been a long time since we've seen you. I know. No look, I mean I do my best, you know, I do my best. <laughs> but we've been reacting to the uh, game where you went to the Bohemians match with the Shamrock Rovers jersey on. Obviously, that came about from the 60-second challenge we did, uh, naming as many League of Ireland players as you can. Hillary Clinton. Um, the fucking, what's his face, Mr. Hoop, the uh, fucking Shamrock Rovers mascot. There we go. Oh, okay. <laughs> What was yeah. your initial reaction uh, upon hearing about the forfeit? It's either going to be you have to wear a Bowes jersey at the next Rovers match we go to, or you have to wear a Rovers jersey at the next Bowes match we go to. It's completely up to the fans. I won't get you arrested, just get, you won't get in. Like. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want to jack it over. You want to get, so, get stabbed. Like, so. <laughs> uh, I was terrified, to be quite yeah. honest, because I know, like, I remember when I was at like a Rovers Bowes game and just. Uh, the animosity really like some people show like usually it's just kind of like friendly kind of banter like ah, yeah yeah Rovers, look Rovers, whatever but there are lads who naturally enough would take it pretty seriously like almost like blasphemy yeah, you know, yeah. it would be like walking into like a, a, a mosque wearing the pope's outfit like you know <laughs> people look at the fuck he had like so <laughs> I, was, I, was, I was wary of that uh, yeah, just pretty much scared, but kind of excited as well. Yeah. yeah. On the day of the game, like leading up to the leading up to that, were you like nervous at home, like before the match and stuff? Um, I was in college that day, I remember. Um, and I was just flat out with an essay, and it was kind of like I was quite glad that that was happening because I was basically just suppressing the you know that kind of thing in my head. But I was yeah, out the yeah. night before, and I was talking to my friends, and I was saying this, and they're like. Jack, like, don't do that. Like, it used to be people from, like, Jim Conter and Fisher and stuff, and they're like, don't do yeah. it, man, don't do it. Um, but, yeah, I was pretty jittery then, like, when I was going up to meet you guys and head over to Daily Man. Yeah, yeah. And then, like, I remember I was at half time, uh, and there's a pretty big group had gathered, like, when you were interviewing your man. Um, <laughs> like, what was going through your head when you, like, took, like, zipped down the, the jacket and, like, kind of revealed the jersey? Um, like, what, what, was, what were the feelings going through, going through your head? <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I just remember I was interviewing the fella. He was a nice lad. Like I was interviewing him, and um, I just wasn't thinking about what I was saying at all. Yeah, 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 so you could, just like, you could tell. So yeah, what do you think about the uh, like the League of um, the League of Ireland um, today? Yeah, <laughs> 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 um, and then took off. I handed up the mic. I remember, and then I took off the. Like jacket I was wearing. Um, yeah. To be yeah. fair, like, like the moment before, I was like looking around, and it was kind of like this fucking pit. It was like something out of like a like a Roman fucking <laughs> coliseum. Like everyone looking yeah. around, like, Ugh. um, and I took it off, and then straight away, like there was like this, Rah! yeah. <laughs> 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 I was like, oh, <laughs> I thought it was quite funny. Yeah, and, oh. like, yeah. People were like kind of shouting stuff at me, but it wasn't. Yeah, like none of it was like. I think there's one lad that was like, "What the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing?" But you, I think we had to explain yeah. to him what, like, what the story was, and he was okay after. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. he thought yeah. it was pretty funny after that. Yeah, yeah. But I do think that it was on reflection. Like, it was, like I'm glad I did it completely because it was fucking hilarious and it was good fun um, yeah. but I mean it really could have gone wrong you just never know like yeah um, I was saying that there was two things that easily could have happened you could have got thrown out or beaten up like yeah yeah, yeah, one, yeah. Or one or the other I'm surprised neither I probably happened deserved, like. yeah I probably deserved both as well but. I, I can't believe you were thrown out like I can't believe a Stuart didn't see that and was like I know what you, like it's insane like there was literally no repercussions I was getting chips about five minutes later like you know <laughs> 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 I think as well it depends on the day like I feel like if that was 
another like more intense game. Because like, it's Waterford, intense. I think they're playing against or something. So yeah, it's a bit like, of a end of the season one, like yeah. Mm. Um, so people probably weren't as rolled up as they would be if it was like literally like the first game of the season. Yeah, you know. Um, oh yeah. It was de- definitely one of the most memorable moments on the channel anyway I'd say um, respect yeah. to you for doing that because I don't think enough, any of the other lads that were in the did, would, like, would have had to have done the forfeit would have done that so respect to you um, and yeah it's good you. to see you bro yeah good seeing you too well guys there you have it we've heard from the man himself I hope you did enjoy the video today if you did make sure to drop a like on this down below and if you haven't already make sure to subscribe thanks for watching guys I'll catch you in a bit there you have it guys the podium. It's up to you, obviously. Jack has to go to the next year and pose a Rovers game in, in the opposite jersey. Um, Can I give a message to the fans? Yeah. Zoom here. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> I've got too much to live for. Like. <laughs>